guys welcome back to my channel i'm yogi david thank you so much for watching today so we went to the Algarve last week we went for one week as the kids had a week off school and there was a number of reasons we went but the main reason we went was to check it out to see if it was somewhere we could live and i thought i would vlog it because i thought it would help somebody else if they're thinking about the same thing and they don't live in this country or maybe they do and they just haven't had a chance to go and visit the Algarve as well as wanting a break um, and the kids being off school, we thought it would be quite nice to explore as well. So what I did was I videoed our whole week there. I tried to include as much information as I can. I tried to include all the places that we visited. I tried to get video footage of the different places we visited. When we went out for meals, I even tried to video the receipts to show you how much it would cost for a meal. Obviously we're a family of five. Just to give you an idea, the weather was great. It was January. Um, so the weather was good we drove down it took us two and a half hours roughly um, and we had a great time and we really enjoyed it and so I'm hoping that these videos might help you if you're thinking of a move or thinking of going to the Algarve but I also hope you might watch them for entertainment purposes as well and just to see what the Algarve is like I thought the easiest thing to do would be to cut the whole footage down into episodes because there's so much footage I got there were so many different places we visited so what I did was I've made an episode for each day so that you can go into one episode on a particular area or you can choose to watch them all which would be great um, but you can I will write in the description and I'll try and put in the thumbnail the places that we visited each on each of those days if that makes sense so um, Places we visited were like Gia, Tavira, Quatera, um, Faro, Lule, Bully Queen, like lots of different places we visited. So I'll try and break it down so that you can see which episode that's in. And also you can just see how we got on with our day-to-day -day life in the Algarve. I hope you enjoy watching. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know that you liked the video. Also let me know in the comments if you find this kind of video useful. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Thanks so much. Now enjoy watching the episodes. Welcome to our final full day in the Algarve. We're off home tomorrow, so this is our last day here today, and it is lovely out. It's really, really nice out, um, which is lovely. We've already been to the swimming pool, had extra long there because it's our last day. Had breakfast, and I'm just making lunch, which is egg mayo sandwiches, or fried egg on toast for some. Um, and yeah, so let me give you a little update on things. <clears throat> not that there's much to update on but yesterday we went for dinner with the friend that Marlon met that took him around yesterday um, and he was really wise and really a lovely man and we went for dinner with him and his wife and they had a friend and their child um, over visiting so we went for dinner last night and it was really nice we went to this really small Portuguese place that you would not even imagine was there um, we went there for dinner and it was so nice we had lamb chops for dinner and it was lovely really good really good food um, and it was nice just being with him and his wife and chatting and talking to them like she was lovely you know giving us a little insight on the Algarve and things like that obviously we already know about moving to Portugal but I always find that if you're thinking of moving to Portugal it's a nice idea to chat to other people that already live here because you can get a real idea of what it's like but again they were saying similar things to what we already know that it takes forever to find a rental, um, everything's so slow. We know all these things anyway from our own experiences of moving to Portugal. Um, but anyway, so it was really lovely to eat out with them. It was really lovely to get an insight and really nice to see what their lives are like, like their day to day. They work, so they go to work daily, but you know, they live a really lovely life. Like they were saying, like the blue skies really helps and things like that, which is just how I feel as well. I feel like the blue skies really helps to lift my mood and things like that. Um, but yeah, so today we are, I'm not sure what we're doing today, Marlon's on a work call so when he finishes we're going to decide what to do but I think we are going to go and visit an international school here in Villamora. We thought we'd just go and check one out so if I can show you anything there I will. I did call them to see if we could come and actually have a proper visit but they, don't, they didn't have any space for us to come today. 
and they're kind of said to email and then somebody might um, sorry, and they said to email and then somebody would get back to us, but obviously we're leaving tomorrow So today would be the only day. So we thought we'd drive by and have a look see what it's like We've also been sent a few more properties, which we're gonna go and check out um, You definitely do get more for your money in terms of housewives out here And you definitely if you're looking for something that's got space You're definitely gonna get that out here Like the places we've been sent have got land have got pools have got space um, and are cheaper than what you would get in Qashqash. Um, now, they're not in the centre or central to Villa Mora, they're like on the outskirts, like the villages and towns on the outskirts, but I kind of feel like it doesn't really matter, because I feel like if you've got your home, and it's your ideal and your perfect home, and to get to the you know location where you want to be is like a 10 minute drive, but you're by the sea and all things like that, I feel like it's worth it. So we're gonna go and check out some areas and some, see what kind of houses we can see and that kind of thing. Um, we've got one view in tomorrow. I think we've got a view in today. I can't remember. We might have one today this afternoon, but we have got one tomorrow. Before we leave, we're going to go on that one. So yeah, so it's a, it, it's been really good getting an idea, like viewing houses, looking at schools, like a public school, and then today looking at an international school. International school fees are cheaper here, but the thing is, it depends. I can say cheaper here, but for the same price, you can get an. In probably not international a private Portuguese school you could probably get in like the Lisbon area for that price and um, so price wise we haven't I haven't seen any Portuguese private schools maybe that's what I'll do I'll look one up uh, I haven't really seen those but I definitely have seen an international one so it's been good just checking out the different things here the different facilities the different schools there's a hospital that's opening a brand new one in Villa Mora which an estate agent was telling us about yesterday um, so it's definitely developing and up and coming it's still very expensive but not as, as expensive as Lisbon and it's very nice so yeah and I think we might check out the shopping centre today we are you know it's the last day so the kids have had an extra long time at swimming pool they want to go back to the games room they also want to all have a bath together because in our apartment we only have two showers we don't have a bath and they used to have baths together all the time and as soon as they saw the bath they were like daddy can you bath and Marlon loves bathing them as well so like sitting there and splashing and stuff with them so they want to do that as well so to fit all of that in um, I mean it's still early we haven't even had lunch yet but we're going to try and fit as much as we can in so yeah so that is today that is what we're going to be up to today you saw yesterday how we were driving around in these, those really narrow roads Portugal is a bit like that but I have noticed that Algarve is a bit more like that um they're scary i hate roads like that i can't i can't cope and luckily marlon was driving but anyway that is what we're up to today so come with us and see exactly what we get up to and yeah i hope you're enjoying this vlog so far if you are please don't forget to like it and if you are enjoying it and you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel because i'd love to have you as a subscriber and yeah let's go and see what friday has in store for us in the algarve Yeah. Back to Lou Lay again. 